Hello YouTube, it's been six months since my last video. Uh, in that time I've had uh, Apple II Pluses blow up and I've had to replace power supplies, I've had floods, but now I'll be able to bring out videos at a more regular pace. So let's get right to it. Okay, back in episode two, I asked you to increase the bounding box so that it went around the entire high-risk screen. Today I'll show you how to do that and also I'll go step by step through the program and also show you ways to make the program more readable. Okay, let's first go look through the code, find what we've uh, called this program, which is example one. Let's edit that line and call it example 1b. Okay, now let's uh, start looking through the program. Uh, let's go through the beginning portion, which is uh, lines uh, 1 through 20. And I'll explain some of the uh, assembler opcodes that are, don't actually generate any assembly code. Now the first two opcodes I want to talk about are origin and object. Now origin is the address where the uh, program is supposed to be run. And the object, OBJ, uh, establishes the alternate assembly storage address. And the reason you might want to do this is to ensure that the program um, can be relocated at a different point in time. Uh, EQU stands for equates, and basically it allows you to replace any equation on the right hand side uh, with the hue and readable text on the left hand side. So anytime HGR is used it will replace it with F3E2. The advantage of using equates is you no longer have to remember the addresses for all of these routines. You just have to remember the equivalent mnemonic. So you can call HGR instead of calling F3E2. Right now, we're going to add a couple of more equates uh, just before line 17. And we're going to put in max x and max y, the maximum x coordinate that we want to go to and the maximum y coordinate we want to go to. And well, uh, if you put a dollar sign in front of the number, it's in hexadecimal, but if you put uh, no dollar sign, it's in decimal. Okay, so 279 is the maximum x coordinate uh, in Apple HGR, high res graphics, and the maximum y coordinate is 191, so we've increased our y coordinate to that uh, dimension. Okay, uh, let's look at the actual routine that draws the bounding box on the screen. JSR stands for jump subroutine. So it will jump to the location referenced uh, by HGR and then return and continue execution from this point. HGR actually clears the graphic screen. Location C052 is referred to as a soft switch. Just referencing that location will cause the Apple to go into full screen mode. So loading the accumulator with C052, we don't actually use the accumulator for anything. It's just accessing that soft switch. The H color routine sets the current drawing color and it takes one parameter, which is the X register. Setting the X register to 3 and then calling H color sets the color to white. The next routine that is called is H plot. Uh, basically, it draws a single point on the screen. It takes the, uh, the accumulator and the X register to give the X coordinate and the Y coordinate, uh, Y register to give the Y coordinate. In, the, in those three routines, we load the accumulator with zero. 
Then we transfer the accumulator to Y, the Y register, and then we transfer the accumulator to the X register, effectively setting the accumulator, the Y register, and the X register to zero, and then we plot a single point. So the next three lines, you'll notice that we only are dealing with the accumulator and the X register. The Y register is left at zero because that's the number value that we actually want to use. Now the X coordinate is greater than 255 in decimal or FF in hexadecimal. So the routine splits up the number in to the accumulator and the X register. It puts the uh, least significant number in the accumulator and the most significant number in the X register. So what does that exactly mean? Well, what it means is you'd expect that the value uh, in hex 117 would be, would be stored as 117 in memory, but in fact, it's stored as 1701. Now, the most significant number is the 01. It has the greatest effect on the value of the number, and the least significant number is 17. It has the least effect when you increase that number by 1. Now, I know that's clear as mud, but stay with me. Uh, first of all, what is this uh, 117 you're saying? Well, I don't recognize that number. Well, let's pull out our handy-dandy hexadecimal calculator, and we find out that uh, the value of 117 is our familiar to 79. And we set our max x equal to the value of 279. So let's make this piece of code here more readable by using our constant that we created earlier. Okay, but how do we get the uh, least significant number out of uh, 279? Well, if you use the minus sign, we can get the least significant uh, portion of our hexadecimal number. And if we use the greater than sign, we can get the most significant portion of that number. Okay, now let's just uh, replace the other bits of code that currently has constants in there. Replace it with our equates so that it's more human readable. Okay, we're finally at a point where we can assemble our code. Let's update our version number to 1.02. Now let's uh, quit out of here, uh, save our source code, and save our object code. Remember to press Y at that question mark. Let's quit and run our code. Oh, isn't that a thing of beauty? Well, that's the end of this episode, but don't worry, the next episode is coming up right away.